Now, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. An estimated 10,000 people filled the pews of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta suburb of Lithonia yesterday for the funeral of civil rights pioneer Coretta Scott King. Among the mourners, family members and friends, four U.S. presidents, former Presidents Carter, George Herbert Walker Bush, Bill Clinton, and President George W. Bush attended the funeral along with 14 U.S. senators, Maya Angelou, Oprah Winfrey, Stevie Wonder. Coretta Scott King died January 30th at the age of 78, seeking treatment in Mexico for ovarian cancer. Throughout the 40 years following the assassination of her husband, Reverend Martin, La Martin Luther King Jr., Coretta Scott King was an outspoken opponent of injustice, ranging from capital punishment to apartheid in South Africa, also a vocal advocate of women's rights, gay and lesbian rights, and HIV AIDS prevention. In 2003, Coretta Scott King also spoke out against the invasion of Iraq. At yesterday's funeral, both former President Jimmy Carter and Reverend Joseph Lowry, the former head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, made pointed criticism of President Bush's policies as he sat on the podium. They cited the war in Iraq and civil liberties transgressions, also accused the president of ignoring the plight of the U.S. poor. President George W. Bush, one of the first of the 39 speakers to take the podium at yesterday's funeral. After he spoke, he was followed by Reverend Joseph Lowry, co-founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference with Dr. Martin Luther King. He made a subtle attack on the Bush administration's war in Iraq and cuts in social programs. What a family reunion. Rosa and Martin were reminiscing. They'd just begun to talk. When Martin seemed not to listen, he started to walk. The wind had whispered in his ear, I believe somebody is almost here. <laughs> Excuse me, Rosa, Martin said as he did depart, his soul was on fire. He just couldn't wait. His spirit leaped with joy as he moved toward the pearly gates. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. And after 40 years, almost 40 years, Together at last, together at last, thank God Almighty. Together at last. Thank you, Coretta. Didn't she carry her grief with dignity? Her growing influence with humility? She secured his seed nurtured his nobility, she declared humanity's worth, and vented their vision, his and hers, for peace in all the earth. She opposed discrimination based on race, she frowned on homophobia, and gender bias she rejected on his face. She summoned the nations to steady war no more. She embraced the oneness of the human family from show to show. Excuse me, Maya. <laughs> she extended Martin's message against poverty, racism, and war. She deplored the terror inflicted by our smart bums on missions way afar. We know now there were no weapons of mass destruction over there. But that there are weapons of misdirection right down here. Millions without health insurance. Poverty abounds. For war, billions more, but no more for the poor.